Konnichiwa mina, atashi wa kuratesu no tiyosin for today's video. I decided at 6, because right now it's like 6 or 9 in the morning, I decided I'm going to bring you a special video. So I got a request a few days ago to do my manga collection. So like, you know what, let me do that because my iPhone is a lot easier to f seriously upload than my camera. Because that's the reason why I never continued it. Because of that reason. So let me get started. Much easier, thank goodness. So requests gonna go back to it so kitchen princess volume one i got this manga in 2007 i basically went to borders and i was just browsing that day and this totally piqued my interest particularly the summary that's for sure and i am so glad i bought it oh volume one is kind of depressing actually najika najika chan gets teased a lot and the, the um, what? Uh, this one I actually did draw, and I still never completed, and it's been years. Huh. Terrible of me. It was one of these two volumes, I think volume six. Yeah, that, that depressing scene happened. Kind of screwed up in a way. Ooh, and this volume is special. My favorite number is eight, and look at what my favorite number has stickers in this volume. Yep, of course, I'm never gonna take them out. You can also get this series as a re release of the Omnibus editions if that's the easiest way you want to get them because I don't know how much um, these cost on Amazon. I wouldn't be surprised if they're a bit expensive, a little bit because they are Del Rey, and I'll and you know, um, series that are. Or companies that are out of print or whatever, they go for a bit extra. But if it's the last one, I fucking recommend this. Sorry, my language, but I totally recommend this series. It's really good. This is the last volume. Really sweet volume. And on to the next series. Another Kodan um, Del Rey. Uh, that I think this is a bit more expensive on Amazon. Is Bamote Lollipop. Barnes and Nobles. Same deal. I was just looking. This piqued my interest. I think I got this manga the day I left school early and I had to go back. So I, um, I think for doctor's things. So what I did is I went to Barnes and Nobles and then I went back to school. I think that's how I bought it. Here's volume two. Really nice. And this series, I totally recommend it also. It's definitely one of those. Oops, I forgot this one. It's definitely one of those, you know, uh, magic things. Really sweet. I'm glad the spines. I'm glad it had a happy ending. <laughs> That's for sure. Here's volume four. And I also like the background because they actually feature real stuff if you can see it. I don't know. And gosh, 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 gosh. The art is amazing. I just wish this series went on a bit longer. I would have loved it. When, if they explored his relationship with her a bit more because they kind of did in their last volume but it definitely wasn't enough to satisfy me that's for sure what is this one volume six look at that look at that look at that you see that cute wow awesome awesome i've heard awesome awesome oops i'm used to saying that on my work <laughs> i've heard that the anime version of this is pretty not too good last volume really good and this is what i was talking about like that wait no ah uh, this when they were exploring her relationship it's like they didn't really go too far into it and i think this series is also expensive at least for new copies another delray wow i didn't realize i'm gonna be showing you all these delrays but it looks like i am mermaid melody pity pity pit volume one Oh, how did I discover this series? Okay, in Borders, I remember reading the first volume, and ever since, I didn't buy it that day, but by reading the first volume, I really liked it a lot. I believe this is the first volume that I actually got volume two. And um, I don't remember which one of these two volumes, but I got for free because I remember I found like 20 bucks on the floor, so I actually spent that 20 on these here. <laughs> it's pretty lucky of me. I got this one from Barn No Borders, I believe, Volume 4. I, fuck, I don't remember. This series, 
definitely magical girl thing but it's really really nice now this volume is a little little beat up because that's what happens when you let people borrow stuff but i personally was okay with it because the person that borrowed my manga she returned them in decent condition so i was okay with it and this volume is a bit thicker the re-release of these it wasn't this big so i guess i don't know this one was kind of depressing in a way this one is big too. I, I believe this is actually, yeah, this is the vo final volume actually. Mm hmm. Yep. And this volume 7 is kind of like, okay, th th definitely spin off stories, but not relating to Mermaid Melody. There was maybe one in here that was. Last volume, I got this copy from Borders. And. Pixie Pop Goku Pucho, Volume 1. This series. Ah, this is the. Oh my gosh. I really, really hate it when they make a guy this goddamn stupid. I mean, oh. Otherwise, I like the story and the art. It was just that one little fault. Pixie Pop Volume 2. Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> and volume three. L final volume. I believe I got this from Barnes and No, Borders. The same day I got the volume seven of Mermaid Melody. I don't know. Okay, looks like, you know what? I'm going to actually stop this video for now. I do have my other mangas, but I didn't think this video was going to go on for six minutes. So I'll upload this video and I'll see you in my next part right there bye bye yay